Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Angel Chest plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin, which, as you can see in front of me, when you die, you will have a chest spawn with a cool hologram above it, and that allows you to retrieve your stuff if you get there within the countdown. So, you can see it shows you your username, the amount of time, and the reason you were killed. So I've gone ahead and killed myself again and what we're going to do is hit respawn. So now we can go back to where I was and here is the brand new one. You can see it's counting down from 10 minutes. That is the default number but you can customize it in the config file. If we go to this one in order to grab it all we need to do is simply right click the chest that will give the items in our inventory and it will even put the armor on automatically which is a really nice feature in case there are bad people about. So if we come over here let's look at the commands if you do forward slash ACTP and then we specify one of the chests so one or two that will actually teleport you to one of your angel chests which is handy if you don't want to run and if we do forward slash AC list this will also bring up a list of the coordinates and locations of your angel chests. Now a pretty powerful feature is the fetch command. If you do forward slash AC fetch that will actually bring a specific angel chest to you if you can't be bothered to even teleport to it. Now you've got to make sure people have the correct permissions, they're not too powerful. And then finally you can do AC reload if you've changed anything in the config file. And as you can see the hologram is updated, it now shows the amount of XP and items in said crate. And then you can also do the forward slash unlock command if you have a chest that's locked to a specific player. That will open it up so anyone nearby can loot it, not the previous owner. So that is kind of how it works in game. As you can see it's a really well made plugin and it works really well. So here we are on these bigot page and before we jump into the config I just want to let you know there are two versions of this plugin there is the free one which I've been using but there is also a premium one with additional features and you will see in the config that certain features are not in the free one. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel and as you can see there is an absolute ton of YML files if we go into something like items.yml you'll see this is a premium feature so not in the plugin that I'm using but if we go in something like death causes this one is simply just going to tell you how the person died um, in the hologram above the chest so you know enderman enderman it's pretty straightforward you don't need to edit this the main file you want to look into is the config.yml so this is an extremely long file as you can see it's got loads of great explanations about how to change things in here but if we scroll down past the permissions and commands you can see something like the duration so how long an angel chest lasts for this is going to be 600 seconds or 10 minutes as we saw by default this is a premium feature so it will show the features you cannot use in the free version unfortunately and then we have the maximum allowed so you saw I had three at once I cannot have more than five at once unless I change something here do you want it to collect the XP from the person when they get killed and then do you want them to lose a percentage of that and how much is kept then something that's pretty handy you can set certain blocks you don't want it to spawn on ie lava dirt grass farmland and then it only currently spawns in air, water and snow. So if you want to have it spawn in maybe leaves or you know, anything like that, you can add those blocks here. The max radius where it looks for free space. And then a pretty neat feature is setting prices in order to teleport and fetch the chest. So this uh, would make it less powerful um, if you set a really high price just teleport your items straight to you or teleport yourself to the items. So that is a quick look at the config file obviously you can have a look at all of it but it's got great explanations and it's very straightforward. So as I showed earlier you can download it for free on the Spigot page but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.